Tifu hot cocoa for my amazing wife or not. This is a true story from 2017 when I was first married to my wife we just started to live together. She wrote a blog about it when it happened, and I just found it had a good laugh and thought I should share with you all. This story will be told from my point of view. I stumble awake after a frustrating sleep I move from the bedroom to the kitchen. I head to the cupboard and pull out the cocoa box. I take it to the bench with the jug on it, fill the jug and turn it on. A moment passes as I close my eyes and the jug squeals boiled. I open the freezer, taking bread out and put it in the toaster. As bread it cooks I take a mug to the jug and spoon some cocoa in, mixing hot water and afterwards then adding a little bit of milk. Watching the silky brown swirl with the milk I feel happy as I thought to myself my wife will love this surprise. The toast pops up. I retrieve and honey added a thick offering to the toast. I pick up the toast. I now plate the meal look it may be one toast with honey but to my wife in the morning that's as filling as a king's feast. The toast is put on the plate as I yawn my tiredness catching up to me my long days studying statistics and nights slash maybe nights of playing Ark Survival naughty brightest idea I have had. Honey on the toast, milk in the mug. I cut the toast in half, easier to eat that way. I pick up the plate with one hand and the mug in the other. Looking back at the bench I decide to clean it up later. It's morning, the only time my wife won't notice and I'm sure she will be so happy I will have time to tidy it up later. I walk back to the bedroom, nearly falling on the rug. But I'm an expert ninja so only make enough noise to wake the dead. My wife has her eyebrow raised as I enter the room, she heard my ninja skills. I smile as I give her breakfast in bed. I wait for her praise. But she looks taken aback after she sips the hot cocoa I labored over. Is this hot cocoa? She looks doubtful. Yes. What else could it be? She takes another sip and shakes her head, disgusted. I am appalled after all I got up early to make her breakfast in bed. Just ungrateful and picky I though and a bit saddened by that thought. She gets up. I head to the kitchen first and pick up the cocoa box. Oh, no, I sigh, as we both now stare at this cocoa box its name clearly showing Cole's traditional gravy. That sight on her face as she tried the drink echoed in my mind and her response started to make more sense. I thought, well, it woke you up, I've never seen you more awake than you are now. I said trying to joke at this bizarre situation. A smile was across my wife's face probably wondering how she got so lucky in marrying such an observant husband. I put the cocoa in a jar on the tea shelf. So you wouldn't be able to mix up the cocoa box with the gravy. My wife opened the jar on the tea shelf still laughing. For some background for those not in Australia the gravy in the cocoa we had was both Coles brand and in boxes the same color and shape. Well, that didn't work. So that was not the first time I made my amazing wife breakfast in bed but since then I swear her. First sips of her drinks are very small the days of those trusting long sips are gone. We have been happily married five years and going strong I am happy to report I have learned from my error and now stick to making my amazing wife coffee in the morning after all no need to risk the gravy incident again. I hope you like the story as much as I have enjoyed writing this. To answer the question that you may have no I have not made my wife a hot cocoa since I have offered but she has insisted on making it herself when she wants one. I can't blame her as the last one I gave her would have tasted not amazing. TL, DR. I thought I made my wife hot cocoa but ended up making her a hot gravy drink. I totally read this is a true story from 2017 when I was first married to my wife. As this is a true story from 2017 when I was married to my first wife. I was thinking this hot cocoa destroyed your marriage. I once made a hot spice mule tea for my flu addled wife. Cold water, black tea, bit of honey, ground cinnamon, clove, freshly cut ginger and a tiny pinch of pepper powder. Bring to a boil. Turn off. Finally. Squeeze in some fresh lemon. Give it a whirl and voila. This time. Like the last few times. I opted to use some refrigerated ginger paste. Just convenient and I didn't have to clean up knives and cutting boards. I reach for the jar. Open it. 
Still smells gingery. A nice contrast to the onion and garlic smells from lunch. Add the usual amount. Brew it up and make us each a cup. Except the jar wasn't ginger paste. It was ginger and garlic paste. 15 minutes and wheezy phlegm filled laughter later. We had just plain black tea. No ginger thank you. And that's how we ended up with a label maker. Oh that was hilarious. Thanks for sharing that little story. Reminds me of an episode of Only Fools and Horses here in the UK. Dunno if you've seen it over there in Oz. I hope your wife did what Del Boy did to his uncle and made you drink the hot cocoa. My biggest kitchen mix-up. Why won't this damn root come together? And what smells like caramel? Got married and then moved in? Jesus. I can't even imagine doing it in that order. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.